Find the third order Taylor polynomial for arctangent of x with center c equals zero. Let's start by writing the formula for third order Taylor polynomial. That would be f of the center plus one over one factorial times f prime of the center times x minus the center plus one over two factorial times f double prime at the center times x minus the center squared plus one over three factorial f triple prime at the center times x minus the center cubed. And that's where we'll stop because we're looking for a third order approximation. Now remember that the center for the series is c equals zero. So that means all of the c's in this equation can be replaced by zeros. So now let's start working on those coefficients. The f, the f prime, the f double prime, and the f triple prime at zero. So our function is the arctangent of x. If we evaluate this at zero, we would get f of zero is equal to the arctangent of zero, which is just zero. And so that number goes right here. Next, let's take a derivative. f prime of x is going to be one over one plus x squared, the derivative of the arctangent, or one plus x squared to the minus one. If we plug in zero, we're gonna get f prime of zero is equal to one plus zero to the minus one, which is just one. And that's this coefficient here. Next, let's take a look at the second derivative. Uh, using the chain rule, we're going to have negative 1 times 1 plus, uh, oops, there's the chain rule right there, 1 plus x squared to the minus 2 times the derivative of the inside, which is 2x, or negative 2x times 1 plus x squared to the minus 2. Now if we plug in 0, we're going to have f double prime at 0 is equal to negative 2 times 0 times 1 plus 0 to the negative 2, and that's just going to be 0, and that's this coefficient here. Our last coefficient, we need the third derivative. So this is going to involve the product rule. So we take the derivative of the first, which is two, times the second, one plus x squared to the minus two, plus the first term, negative two x, times the derivative of the second, so minus two times blank to the minus three times the derivative of blank. The blank is one plus x squared, the derivative is two x. And then we need to clean that up, so we're gonna have a minus two times one plus x squared to the minus two. There's a negative, 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 so that'll be a positive 8x squared times 1 plus x squared to the minus 3. Uh, we can just plug in 0 now rather than simplify because I just care about this number. That's going to be a negative 2 times 1 to the negative 2 plus 8 times 0 times 1 to the negative 3 and that's a grand total of negative 2 and so that goes right here. So now we have the coefficients. Let's clean this up. We have 0 plus 1 over 1 times x plus 0 plus negative two over six, three factorial, times x cubed. And so there's our Taylor polynomial. Let's clean it up a little bit more to make it a little bit more readable here. So we're gonna have, ignoring the zeros, x minus one third x cubed. That's our third order Taylor polynomial, and it's an approximation of the function arctangent of x. And that's our answer.